Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jewel Johnson and I'm currently employed with Royal Caribbean Cruise Line aboard Spectrum of the Seas as a dancer. Recently on my Instagram, I asked you guys what kind of questions you have about life at sea and everyone delivered. So I have a few questions that I'll be answering today about life at sea. Let's get into the video. Question number one, do you get seasick? I personally do not get seasick. I have never been seasick in my entire life, even on smaller boats. And here on the cruise ship, the rocking usually is so slight that you can't even feel it. But even on those rocky days, I don't get seasick. However, if you do get seasick at medical, there's a constant supply of seasickness pills for everyone who gets seasick. Question number two, how well do you sleep? I sleep very, very well most nights. The bed is comfy enough, so is the pillow, and the rooms are pitch black. The bed actually is made for very tall people like myself. I even have a lot of room left down by my legs, so my entire body fits on the bed and I have very good night's sleep most of the time. How do you manage with this small space? Yes, my cabin is very small and I have to share it with someone else, but to be very honest, I am rarely ever in the cabin. We're usually at rehearsals or I will be on deck seven or, you know, having shows at night. So whenever I am in the room, I'm sleeping most of the time or watching movies and I'm just on my bed. So the only time that it gets difficult to deal with the small space is when both my roommate and I are trying to get ready at the same time, but that usually doesn't happen because our schedules are so different. How long are the shifts? This varies department by department, so I can only speak from my department. However, if enough people want to hear about another specific department, I can interview one of my friends from that department, so let me know down in the comments. As a dancer, we only have shows at night. So every three day cruise, we have two shows on day one and two shows on day three. And every four day cruise, we have two shows on day two and two shows on day four. However, this is not the only time that we are on duty. We have reblocks for when someone is injured or sick and they can't perform. We need to rearrange the entire show to do it without that person. We have rehearsals. We have muster, which is something a lot of people don't know. So when the guests come on the ship, we are the ones who will give the safety briefing about what to do in the case of an emergency. So we have muster and box office as well. In box office, we help the guests book their tickets for 270 and for some of the sports activities. On a usual turnaround day, for example, we have muster from 11.15 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. And at 6.15 p.m. is call time for the 7.15 p.m. show and 9 p.m. is the call time for the 9.30 p.m. show. We usually finish shows around 10.15, 10.30 p.m. How many days off do you get? Again, this varies from department to department. So as a dancer in the theater cast, we rarely ever get a full day off, but we do get days where we only have one or two things to do. So usually, as I said, shows would be on day one and day three. And on day two, we will have like a dance class or a fitness class or maybe a rehearsal or something like that. In total, we have four show days every week and three days without shows. However, on those three days, we could be doing anything else like rehearsals and classes and tech runs, etc. When are you in port or at sea? Here on Spectrum of the Seas, we only visit three ports at the moment. One is in Singapore and two are in Malaysia. One of the ones in Malaysia is Port Klang and the other is Penang. On day one of a three-day cruise, we're in Singapore from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. On day two, we're in Penang from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. And on day three, it's a sea day, which means we'll be spending the entire day at sea cruising to get back to Singapore for the next cruise. On day one of a four-day cruise, we're in Singapore from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. On day two, we're in Port Klang from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. On day three, we're in Penang from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on day four, it's another CD. Does everyone have individual rooms? Now this definitely depends on your rank and job title. As a dancer, I have to share with another dancer from the theater cast or from the 270 cast. So all the dancers have to share with someone else. However, if you're the dance captain, you get your own single share room, which means that you have your own bedroom, but you share the bathroom with someone else. If you're the company manager, you get your own room and your own bathroom. 
Like I said previously, if you guys have a specific department that you'd like to find out about, please comment below so I can interview someone from that department and you can hear directly from them. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and you can even hit the notifications bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Back to the video. How is the food? I personally love the food at the mess and even speaking to people who have been on previous contracts, they say that this mess is very, very good. So the food is delightful you know there's always gonna be those days that you really don't want to eat anything from the mess but on those days here we are privileged enough to have a constant supply of french fries and burgers well ingredients to make your own burger so i think that is very nice one thing I absolutely adore about the mess on this ship is every night for dinner we have a specialty night. For example, we have Italian night, the carbonara and the lasagna are to die for. We have Indian night, we have breakfast for dinner night, we have laksa night, we have shawarma night. Oh, it's so good. You get to try so many different cuisines from all around the world even though you're here on the cruise ship. There is currently no Caribbean night, however, I may make that as a suggestion for the future. How do you stay active? As dancers, we are very active because of all the shows that we have to do. However, in our contract, it states that we have to do five gym hours per week. There's also a track that runs basically the length of the ship that we can take walks on or run at any time of the day or night. What is your favorite part of the ship? My favorite place out of the entire ship is deck seven. It's the crew open deck where we can go to just get a breath of fresh air. We have a view of the ocean. The view is spectacular. We even have lots of lounge chairs out there, so many people suntan as well. crew members get to enjoy guest facilities. Recently, because of COVID, crew members were only really allowed in crew areas unless it's for work. However, the restrictions are slowly being dropped and crew activities are becoming more frequent. Currently, we have lots of crew activities where the crew get to enjoy some of the guest facilities for a short period of time. For example, we have sports nights where crew can play sports in the seaplex, for example, volleyball, cricket, badminton, football, all of this in the seaplex where the guests usually are. Recently, the outdoor pool and jacuzzi have been available for crew to use about twice a month, which is still pretty good and I'm just so grateful for the fact that I get to swim in the pool. What is the most rewarding experience for you? Well, for me. <laughs> Seeing the audience enjoy our show is so rewarding. You see the adults loving it, the kids loving it, sometimes they even get up in the aisles and dance. The fact that we're able to put smiles on their faces just by doing what we do, it's one of the best feelings ever. What is the best memory you've made so far? It's very hard to pick just one memory. There are so many great memories. Memories. It's hard to pick just one memory. There are so many great memories that I've made. I can't even count them. But I would say that a lot of the good memories actually happened when things went wrong on stage. Like there was this time I forgot to put on my wig and I just went on stage with a wig cap and I laughed about it for the rest of the night. It was so funny. And when things happen to other people on stage as well and you see it, you're just like, <laughs> it just makes everyone laugh and, you know, kind of takes away some of the nervousness. So I love when things go wrong on stage, which is weird, but I do. <laughs> those are all the questions for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to those of you that submitted questions for me to answer. I truly appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as comment what type of videos you'd like to see in the future. Those of you that continue to support my channel time and time again, thank you so much. I love you guys and you guys are like a family to me now. So thank you so much for supporting me and I hope you have the most amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. Love you guys. Bye.